President George Bush addresses the nation with an outline of his national drug policy. Good evening. This is the first time since taking the oath of office that I felt an issue was so important, so threatening, that it warranted talking directly with you, the American people. All of us agree that the gravest domestic threat facing our nation today is drugs. Drugs have strained our faith in our system of justice. Our courts, our prisons, our legal system are stretched to the breaking point. The social costs of drugs are mounting. In short, drugs are sapping our strength as a nation. Turn on the evening news or pick up the morning paper and you'll see what some Americans know just by stepping out their front door. Our most serious problem today is cocaine, and in particular, crack. Who's responsible? Let me tell you straight out. Everyone who uses drugs, everyone who sells drugs, and everyone who looks the other way. Tonight, I'll tell you how many Americans are using illegal drugs, I will present to you our national strategy to deal with every aspect of this threat, and I will ask you to get involved in what promises to be a very difficult fight. This, this is crack cocaine, seized a few days ago by drug enforcement agents in a park just across the street from the White House. It could easily have been heroin or PCP. It's as innocent looking as candy, but it's turning our cities into battle zones, and it's murdering our children. Let there be no mistake, this stuff is poison. Some used to call drugs harmless recreation, 